This study examines the accuracy of OpenAI's GPT-4 model in predicting moral opinions across different countries and moral domains. Previous research has shown that GPT models can predict variations in moral opinions between countries, but with significantly higher accuracy in high-income countries compared to low-income ones. This study aims to replicate these findings and advance the research by examining how accuracy varies with different types of moral questions. Using responses from the World Value Survey and the European Value Study, covering 18 moral issues across 63 countries, the study calculated country-level mean scores for each moral issue and compared them with GPT-4's predictions. The results confirmed previous findings, showing that GPT-4 has greater predictive success in high-income countries than in low-income ones. However, factor analysis reveals that GPT-4 bases its predictions primarily on a single dimension presumably reflecting countries' degree of conservatism, liberalism. In contrast, the real-world moral landscape appears to be two-dimensional, differentiating between personal sexual and violent dishonest issues. When moral issues are categorized based on their moral domain, GPT-4's predictions are found to be remarkably accurate in the personal sexual domain, across both high-income and low-income countries. However, the predictive accuracy significantly drops in the violent dishonest domain for both high-income and low-income countries, indicating that GPT-4's onidimensional worldview does not fully capture the complexity of the moral landscape. The study highlights the importance of considering not only country-specific characteristics but also the characteristics of the moral issues at hand. Large language models, LLMs, form their understanding and knowledge through the processing of their pre-training data and are susceptible to various biases, including those related to race, gender, political ideology, and religious affiliation. Understanding where these models excel and fall short is crucial, particularly in the domain of moral opinions. The interest in studying moral opinions is twofold. Firstly, as people increasingly rely on LLMs like GPT-4 for information, it becomes crucial to understand their accuracy and potential biases across various domains, including morality. Secondly, ILM's cultural knowledge may be instrumental for other tasks they perform, such as cultural and social alignment of AI agents. The study's findings underscore the importance of recognizing the diversity of moral issues and the need for multidimensional taxonomies of cultural values to comprehend cultural diversity. The distinction between personal sexual and violent dishonest moral domains, first proposed by Vauclair and Fisher, 2011, is particularly relevant, as it highlights the complexity of the moral landscape and emphasizes the importance of considering the characteristics of the moral issues at hand. The study aims to understand GPT-4's ability to predict moral opinions by accounting for country characteristics and moral issues. It begins by replicating a previous finding that GPT contains knowledge about cultural variation in moral opinions, showing it's better at inferring moral opinions in high-income countries. The study then compares the factor structure of GPT estimates with real-world survey data, conducting supplementary analyses to delve deeper into potential underlying causes and ramifications. For this, the joint EVS-WVS dataset is used which includes survey data from 63 countries. GPT-4 is asked to make country-level estimates for each of the 18 moral items in these countries. The analysis tests GPT's accuracy by calculating Pearson correlation coefficients between WVS scores and GPT estimates, finding a moderate positive correlation. The mean correlation for each moral issue separately shows a range from 0.03 to 0.90 with significant differences between high-income and low-income countries. The dimensionality of the WVS data is compared with that of GPT's estimates through exploratory factor analysis, revealing two components for the WVS data and one for the GPT data. Here is a combined summary of pages 5 and 6 of the research paper. A factor analysis with Veramix rotation was conducted on the World Value Survey, WVS, data retaining two factors that separated 16 out of 18 moral issues into two distinct categories. The exceptions were the justifiability of suicide and parents beating their children, which showed slight cross-loadings, and the justifiability of the death penalty, which did not load well on either factor. The loadings of the single factor for the generative pre-trained transformer, GPT, data supported a similar split, 
with positive loadings corresponding to the WVS first factor and negative loadings corresponding to the WVS second factor. Table 1 presents the factor loadings with Veramix rotation, calculated separately for WVS and GPT. The results show that the moral issues can be grouped into two categories, personal sexual issues, e.g., abortion, divorce, euthanasia, homosexuality, casual sex, prostitution, sex before marriage, and suicide, and violent dishonest issues, e.g., man-beating wife, violence, stealing property, claiming government benefits, avoiding fare, cheating on taxes, accepting a bribe, death penalty, political violence, and parents beating their children. Given that GPT seems to derive all its predictions based on a single underlying factor, a high correlation is expected between GPT's estimates in the two moral domains. In contrast, little or no correlation is expected between the same domains in real-world survey data, as the analysis suggested that two distinct factors drive variation in the WVS data. To test this notion, country-level means for personal sexual and violent dishonest issues were calculated, and the correlation between the two domains was examined for GPT and WVS, respectively. The results show a large correlation between GPT's country estimates in the two domains, R, 61, equals 0.86, P less than 0.001, 95% C, 0.91, 0.78, while only a weak correlation was found between the same domains in the WVS data. The study examines the performance of GPT-4 in estimating societal variation in moral attitudes across countries focusing on both high-income and low-income countries. It is observed that GPT-4 performs significantly better in high-income countries than in low-income countries. This discrepancy is attributed to a single underlying factor that GPT-4 uses for its predictions, which does not capture the nuanced explanation suggested by real-world data involving two factors. To further explore this issue, the research team tested GPT-4's accuracy for all combinations of income and moral domain. The results, displayed in Figure 4, show that GPT-4 performs well in the personal sexual domain in both high-income and low-income countries, with correlations of 0.77 and 0.58, respectively. However, GPT-4 performs poorly in the violent dishonest domain with a weak to moderate correlation in high-income countries and a weak negative correlation in low-income countries. These findings suggest that the accuracy of GPT-4's estimates depends more on differences between different types of moral issues than on country income level. To gain a better understanding of the difference in accuracy between the two domains, the team calculated country level means separately for each domain and correlated the GPT-4 means with the WVS means. The results, shown in the right panel of Figure 5, reveal that GPT-4 accurately estimates societal variation in the personal sexual domain, with a correlation of 0.85, but performs poorly in the violent dishonest domain, with a correlation of 0.23. This indicates that GPT-4's single factor does not capture societal variation in the violent dishonest domain, as seen in the example of Armenia and the Philippines where GPT-4's point estimates are barely differentiated along the z-axis, despite being furthest apart in empirical ratings recorded by the WVS along the yaxis. The research investigates whether GPT-4 can accurately estimate moral opinions across diverse countries. It replicates previous findings, showing GPT's estimates correlate with real-world data, being more accurate in high-income countries. The analysis focuses on personal sexual and violent dishonest moral issues, examining GPT's country-level means and their correlation with the World Value Survey, WVS, scores. In the personal sexual domain, a strong positive correlation was found between GPT's liberalism estimates and both GPT's and WVS's country-level means, suggesting a liberalism-conservative dimension explains GPT's estimates and real-world variants. In contrast, a strong negative correlation was observed in the violent dishonest domain, indicating little real-world variance explained by the same dimension. This suggests GPT's accuracy in the personal sexual domain can be attributed to its onidimensional view of morality, placing countries along a liberal-conservative continuum.
The study's findings have implications for understanding GPT's capabilities and limitations in estimating moral opinions across different cultures and economic backgrounds. The study explores the moral worldview of large language models, LLMs, focusing on their cultural alignment and potential biases. It utilizes a dataset from the World Values Survey, WVS, to compare GPT's moral estimates with actual human opinions. The findings suggest that GPT's moral worldview is onidimensional, revolving around the liberal conservative axis, which differs significantly from the two-dimensional moral landscape observed in human data. This dimensionality discrepancy may contribute to GPT's poor performance in predicting moral opinions in the violent dishonest domain, especially in low-income countries. GPT's performance was better in high-income countries, possibly due to cultural bias. However, it performed well in the personal sexual domain but poorly in the violent dishonest domain across both high- and low-income countries. This dichotomy could be attributed to the model's understanding of moral norms, as it aligns more closely with liberal conservative ideologies. The research also highlights the importance of considering cultural norms and moral foundations theory in LLMs. Moral foundations theory, proposed by Hyde, 2007, emphasizes the role of six moral foundations, care, harm, fairness, cheating, loyalty, betrayal, authority, subversion, sanctity, degradation, and liberty, oppression. Inglehart and Wellsel, 2010, noted that societal values change as societies move from traditional to secular rational and self-expression values, which may influence moral opinions. Moreover, the paper discusses various studies on ILM's biases, including cultural, political, and occupational biases. For instance, Kirk et al., 2021, analyzed intersectional occupational biases in popular LLMs, while Ray, 2023, reviewed Chad GPT, emphasizing its background, applications, challenges, and limitations. Rosado, 2023, investigated the political biases of Chad GPT, and Shramowski et al., 2022, found that LLMs contain human-like biases of right and wrong. In conclusion, the study underscores the need for more nuanced understanding of moral norms and cultural alignment in LLMs. It emphasizes that simplifying complex moral landscapes onto a single dimension can lead to significant inaccuracies, particularly in the violent dishonest domain. To improve the moral reasoning capabilities of LLMs, future research should focus on integrating multidimensional moral foundations and addressing cultural biases. The authors conduct a comprehensive examination of cultural bias in large language models, LLMs, building upon existing research in the field. They cite Schwartz's 2004 work on mapping and interpreting cultural differences worldwide, highlighting the importance of considering cultural values in AI development. The review by Singh and Ramakrishnan, 2023, on ChatGPT's biases is also referenced, emphasizing the need for auditing and mitigating cultural bias in LLMs. The authors draw inspiration from Dow et al.'s, 2023, work on auditing and mitigating cultural bias in LLMs, which involves identifying bias in language models and developing strategies to address it. They also cite Vauclair and Fisher's, 2011, research on the relationship between cultural values and individual moral attitudes, demonstrating the significance of cultural values in shaping moral judgments. The authors utilize the joint EVS, WVS 20172022 dataset, a comprehensive survey of cultural values and attitudes across various countries, to analyze cultural bias in LLMs. This dataset provides a rich source of information on cultural values allowing the authors to investigate how LLMs reflect and perpetuate cultural biases. The methodology involves training LLMs on a diverse range of texts and evaluating their performance on a culturally sensitive task. The authors employ a cross-cultural multi-level approach, similar to Vauclair and Fisher's 2011 study, to examine the relationship between cultural values and ILM's performance. The results are presented in Figure 1 which illustrates the correlation between cultural values and ILM's bias. The authors identify significant correlations between certain cultural values and ILM's bias, suggesting that LLMs tend to perpetuate cultural biases present in the training data. 
They argue that these findings have important implications for the development of culturally sensitive AI systems. The authors acknowledge limitations, including the reliance on a specific dataset and the need for further research on mitigating cultural bias in LLMs.